So now in this video we're going to look at a relay here. This one is a double pull, double throw, and it came in a Make Electronics kit that uh, isn't really available anymore. You can find them, but it's a little tricky. And uh, so it's got semi-nice uh, labeling on it here. So it's a non-latching relay. So the switch is in one position until you energize the coil. Then it goes into the other position. Once you release energy from the coil, it flips back to its normal state. So you just apply 12 volts to the coil, it limits current from there. Uh, this particular one's a 12 volt. Other relays have a different control voltage and uh, usually the uh, voltage is marked uh, somewhere about uh, right there. So this other number is the uh, load that it can handle. So this claims up to 240 volts alternating current and over here it says 30 volts uh, direct current. So you got to pay attention to that too. Uh, for both those numbers it says 5 amps. So those numbers are right there. I know it's hard to see but in any case you can look for them right there. When you are looking at the pins one of the switches is on that side. So it's a mechanical switch. There's uh, moving parts and then the other switch is on that side. So whatever you connect over here is not connected over there. They are both controlled though by the coil. The coil are these two uh, pins right there and you put the 12 volts across there to energize the coil. You remove the 12 volts to not energize the coil. And these uh, two pins are normally connected while well, those two pins are normally connected. That's when the coil is not energized. You energize the coil and the mechanical part moves and then these two pins become connected and those two pins become connected. So these are the two common pins right there, the middle ones. I'm going to put the common pin to the resistor. I already have 12 volts being applied to the power supply and then the other pins are going to those LEDs and you can see right now without the coil being energized there's uh, no uh, power connection to it at all currents going through the resistor and then down this way to the long lead the anode of the LED short lead the cathode going to uh, ground that LED is lit up I'm using a 1 kilo ohm resistor because it's 12 volts so now we really want to add a rectifier diode right here so when we apply power it will be reverse bias. We have the cathode to the positive side, the anode towards the negative side and uh, that way it will not conduct uh, current while we have it powered from the power supply. The reason why we're doing this is uh, right now I will uh, give uh, power to the coil and it switched the relay. You can see that LED is off and that LED is on. Right now current is flowing through the coil. When I release this uh, makeshift switch here cut power from the coil the coil doesn't stop conducting instantly it's an inductor and uh, so we may get a spark or something maybe some other problems what the rectifier dial does is let that current now uh, cycle through the inductor until it runs out of energy and so we'll zoom back to get a better look so this is the normally closed part of the uh, switch and then up there is the normally open. It's normal because right now we're not energizing the coil. Now we are energizing the coil and so now that side is closed. So that's not normal because we have to energize it but right now that one's closed and that one is open. Pretty uh, straightforward there. Of course you can also power it from the other side. Make sure you have the uh, rectifier dialed the right direction though. The cathode has to be towards the positive side of the power supply, anode, towards the negative, cathode the, the gray band, but otherwise it works the same right there. We'll see, we'll apply 12 volts to the coil. Now, when it comes to those voltages that are listed up here, so you can probably see a five amps for 240 volts AC or five amps for 30 volts DC, that's the switch part of it. So it's mechanical, it's completely separate from the coil other than moving when the coil is energized or not. And uh, so, you can have a completely different power source over here, but the coil has to be 12 volts. You don't want to go above that. The uh, load though can have that other range there. So in any case, hopefully that all made sense. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting in the screen. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can, that helps out the most. But uh, watching videos helps out a ton. I have links down in the description. Check them out. I'll see you in the next video.